Oh no, my matcha. Five things that make men less attractive. There are a lot of things that us guys do, me and you, that make us look a lot less attractive. Like me, you may have been doing these things without even knowing it. And it's killing all your interactions with all those beautiful girls, beautiful guys, whatever you're into, I don't care. More matcha, please. <laughs> we can't be having this. We gotta have you out there attracting all the little honeys that you want to attract. And that's what we're doing today with this video. So take notes and make sure you don't do any of the five things here that make men less attractive. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. What are you doing? Why have you not subscribed yet? All right, let's go. This took me a while to kind of understand. I was going through relationship to relationship, just coasting really in life as well, and thinking, you know, I'll do this job, I'll do that job, never really knowing what I wanted, never really having any passion about really wanting to achieve anything. I just wanna have a good time and a good time with them. What you don't realize is a woman needs a man who is goal driven, a man who has ambition, who knows what he wants and will go for it. He's assertive, he doesn't pussyfoot around anything. He knows what he wants, he says what he wants. How many guys are just all talk and no oomph? I was definitely like that and maybe you are too. Not having any real goals in my life, not really having anything to strive for. A guy who has a purpose and can think about the future shows to her that he is thinking about a bigger picture. And hopefully, they will be part of that picture with you. They want a guy to go up to them, be polite, courteous, but tell them exactly what he thinks of them, what he likes about them, and what he plans to do with them. That is damn sexy. And don't worry about getting rejected. You will get rejected every now and then, but it's not the end of the world. Nothing really happens, so what? None of this coy behavior, hoping to catch her eyes from a long distance and imagining, praying, oh, I really hope she comes over to me. No, and stay assertive, even in the relationship. Tell her exactly what you want to do. Not, hey honey, what do you want for dinner? Hey honey, what do you want to do? Hey honey, what do you want to do this weekend? No, make some plans take her out. If she doesn't like it, she'll tell you. So then you make up another plan. Always be assertive. Work out what you want from your life. Go for it. Be ambitious. Share your ambition. And don't just be talk. Do it. This one for me seems like an obvious one, but yet there's still people out there to do it. Look how much money I've got. Look what car I drive. This is my job. This is my salary. Girls don't care. And if you find a girl who does care about how much money you have or what car you drive necessarily, you're not going to want to be dating those kind of girls because they'll take everything you have and then move on to the next chump and they won't be liking you for you. Stop bragging. Women have like a freaky sixth sense. They can tell a man who has value over a man who doesn't. If you have money, a good job, a good car, she'll just know. She just knows these things. She can tell. She can tell by the way you talk, the way you talk about yourself and the way you talk about other people around you. You don't need to be bragging about these things for them to know. And the moment you do, she's gone. If you're enjoying this video so far, do me a solid and give me one of these bad boys. And uh, if you're not subscribed, then what are you still doing? Subscribe. Life is so unfair. Why do things not work out for me? Oh, my back hurts. Oh, everything's sh This isn't good. I'm not having fun. Oh, eh, eh, eh. Guys who moan constantly. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm moaning about guys moaning. Isn't that ironic? But I'm not trying to attract any girls right now. I have been in the past. I'm, I'm a, I can be a big moaner, actually. I'm, I, I put my hands up. I can moan about anything and everything. And then what happens when I moan is I put myself in a negative headspace. I start looking at life a bit differently. Things a bit down, the sky's a bit grayer. Life's just a bit meh. But the moment I change that, the moment I stop moaning and start looking at the positives as opposed to the negatives in life, life gets a lot better. So much so that women notice this. This goes both ways. I'm sure you know some people, some guys or girls that moan 
so much and it just gets on your tits it gets on your nerves being around negative people puts you in a negative mind space mind space what the hell is mind space mindset is depressing and nobody wants to be around it how on earth do you think you're going to attract the girl of your dreams by moaning to her all the damn time. Change your perspective. The moment you think you want to moan, one, don't. But also look at how I can change this into a positive. The ego is important for us because it helps us with our purpose and it makes us realize what we want and need and helps us strive towards it. So in that retrospect, ego is good. But what we use ego too much for is protecting us. This is something I was always bad at uh, when I was a bit younger and in young relationships. There would be like a, a little disagreement or a little argument over something and maybe it was my fault or let's say it was my fault and my ego wouldn't let me admit that and I would make the argument worse. It's like, I was so scared that they would look at me in a certain way because I said something wrong or did something wrong that my ego wouldn't allow it and then I became argumentative. And a lot of guys are like this these days. We need to let the ego down when we don't need it. Use it when you're striving for something important in your life. But when it comes to self-improvement and looking inwardly at ourselves, we need to let go of the ego. A guy who cannot ever admit that he's wrong in an argument and a guy whose ego won't let them be vulnerable with a woman they like is never gonna get anywhere with that woman. Women need you to be vulnerable. They need you to share what's going on inside you. Pick your women right and they're not gonna use it to attack us. They're not gonna use it against us. Being vulnerable is one of the sexiest things a man can do. It's him laying everything out. This is me. I don't care if you like it or not, but this is me all of it and this is what I want from my life that is vulnerability but the ego doesn't like this the ego is scared that it will be rejected let this ego down not only will women find you more attractive but you'll start living life properly these don't ever ever wear these jeans please just don't they're a woman's pet peeve. If you own a pair of these jeans, just throw them out. Just throw them out. As for the rest of your style, I mean, there are so many different types of styles. Go onto things like Pinterest and look at different men's styles. Find one that you like, something that matches with your personality, and whatever you wear, own it. It doesn't matter if you like to dress to the nines and you're in suits all day, or you like looking a bit scruffy. It doesn't matter as long as you own the outfit that you're wearing. Own it with confidence and people will find you attractive. That'll be part of you, that'll be part of your style. Don't wear anything too tight. Don't wear these jeans. Don't wear these shoes or this belt. Oh my God, this outfit is like a woman repellent. And you don't need a lot of money for decent outfits. Just a couple of pairs of jeans, a couple of t-shirts, a couple of shirts. Make sure that you can interchange and match them and you've got yourself a week's load of outfits. There are also loads of great fashion YouTubers out there, so check them out. Find one that works with you. Don't be looking like your mum's just taking you to the gap and dressed you up in how she wants you to look. Find your own style and own it. It's always a good idea to have just like one item of clothing or one piece of jewelry that's a good talking piece to have when you meet that girl you want to attract. And that's it, your five things that make men less attractive. Lacking ambition and assertiveness being an arrogant bragger, moaning far too much, letting your ego get in the way and having a terrible fashion sense. Make sure you're not doing these five things and implement the advice that I've given you in this video. This way you will be golden and you are gonna have so many new women in your life. You'll have no idea what to do with them. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you are now and I will see you in the next video.